Okay, we're going to do some calculations using the inverse square law. Sometimes you'll see it written this way, ISL, inverse square law. Um, so the inverse square law, like, works because we'll have, like, a point source of radiation, and there's some sort of initial amount of intensity coming out that, and a certain distance away, R, you'll get some intensity out of there, and we know the intensity down the line is I naught divided by r squared, and that's the basics of the inverse square, like the square is inverted and on the bottom. Um, a lot of times when we apply inverse square law, um, you'll have a question like this. Um, a survey meter reads an exposure of 1.93 millironcan per hour at 1.5 meters. Use inverse square law to estimate what the reading would be at one meter. So we're going to go from 1.5 to 1.9. I'll just diagram that out quickly with certain intensity. Here's R is equal to one meter. And then a certain distance away, you have R is equal to 1.5. And we know the intensity here is equal to 1.93. And I want to know what the intensity is right here. So we can actually quickly derive the inverse square law. So we have I at position one is equal to I naught divided by R one squared. We have I at position 2 is equal to the same I naught divided by R2 squared. If we take this R, bring it up to here, take this R, bring it up to there, I get R1 squared I1 is equal to I naught. R2 squared I2 is equal to I naught. So both of these equations are equal to I naught, so we can just set these two things equal to each other. R1 squared I1 is equal to R2 squared I2. So if I2 is 1.93 and I1 is here, I'm going to solve for I2. I'm going to take this R2 and bring it down to there. And I get R1 squared I1 divided by R2 squared is equal to I2. Oh, I did that the opposite way because I have I'm the way I read it here is I2 so I'm going to do it the other way I1 is equal to R2 squared I2 divided by R1 squared so now I2 1.93 R2 is equal to 1.5 meters R1 is equal to 1 meter so intensity at, po at position 1 is equal to 1.5 squared, 1.93. Now, uh, there's meters in there, so that's meters squared. This is millironcan per hour divided by 1 meter squared. It's equal to, get the calculator out, on 1.5 squared is times 1.5 times 1.93 divided by 1 divided by 1 1 squared equals 4.34 millironcans per hour at 1 meter so if we were to have a reading of 1.93 millironcans per hour at 1.5 meters and we wanted to know what the reading was at 1 meter we can run through this equation. We get 1.93 millironcans per hour times 1.5 meters squared divided by one meter squared. We're going from 1.5 to one. We get 4.34 millironcans per hour. And remember when doing the inverse square law, when we're going from a location to a new one, if we're getting closer to the source, the reading should go up. If we're getting further away from the source, the reading should go down.